Man, I look good today. Oh, hey there guys. Welcome back for another evening of terror delight. Though, sometimes terror can be a very personal experience. Ever wonder how the other side gets on? Well, get close to those monitor screens and prepare yourself for a nice long drink from the terror well with this little slurping good time that I like to call I can't see myself in the mirror. Something's wrong. When I went to the bathroom this morning, I noticed that I cast no reflection in the mirror. Needless to say, this made getting ready, combing my hair and the rest, very challenging. I tried to leave for work, but as soon as I stepped from my front door, I felt as though my head was going to catch on fire. Deciding the most prudent course of action would be to call in sick, I returned back inside and placed the call to the office, informing them that I would not be in. Surprisingly, I still had an appetite and ventured into the kitchen for a bit of breakfast. Usually it's eggs for me almost every day. Today, though, I felt like having a steak. After only a couple of minutes of cooking, I found myself too hungry to wait for the meat to be more on the well-done side, and decided it good enough, eating it a bit more bloody than usual. Resigned to staying indoors for the day, I made my way back to my bed to lay down, still overrun by fatigue. As I lay there, I tried to recall the events of my previous evening, still a blur, a night out at the bar, a dozen too many drinks, a pretty girl, the alleyway, some heavy necking. Then, this morning, nothing in between. I struggled with my memories, trying to make them surface as I drifted off into a restful sleep. I awoke to the sound of my doorbell. Someone had surely come to check on me. Struggling weakly to the door, and looking through the small peephole to the other side, I saw that it was my neighbor. Not knowing what he wanted, I opened the door to ask him, but a sudden wave of thought and instinct washed over me. By the time he had opened his mouth to ask me about the two puncture marks on my neck, I had already come to realize what I truly desired, and it was pumping fervently through his veins. Well, sometimes you see it coming, and sometimes you don't. But when it's you in the driver's seat, the fear seems to take a bigger bite. But if you're thirsty for more gore galore, stop in tomorrow night for night nine of this macabre masquerade. And until then, I think I'm off for a drink. <laughs>